Hello everyone, this is Focwolf. I'm going to be doing a tutorial largely based upon requests and suggestions I've seen around various forums of how to port a Warcraft 3 model and I'm going to be doing one of the hardest cases. This will be the uh, human peasant. So we're going to go through this whole thing step by step and show you what you need to do and etc. to get the whole thing. Icons, um, the textures, everything ported over. Now, these are the programs some of you need, some of them are purely preference. So I'm using the stuff that I found the best to, to use to do this sort of thing. And uh, we're going to take it from there. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create the folder that I'm going to be using for this. So I'm going to go, uh, and yes, I do have a lot of different models. I'm going to be going uh, to units. Human, I'm going to be adding uh, the peasant. And then I'm going to go, now this is an old program, but you can still find it around the web fairly easily. It's called Warcraft 3 Viewer. This is nice because not only allows you to look up the model and you know see it visually in the editor, but also will pull the correct textures for you. A lot of these textures, the, the path of the texture is not in the folder where the unit is, and sometimes it can be a pain to hunt down. This will pull it all out for you, and dump it. In, you can dump it in the same folder. It's fairly straightforward and easy. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go uh, here to units, and this is the wrong... Okay, you need to make sure that you're using the right MPQ. This is the Warcraft 3X MPQ I have open right now. So I'm going to go to my Warcraft 3 install and use a war 3 mpq for this okay so now we have the correct mpq really human unit and we're going to pull out the peasant and here's the peasant mdx now the portraits a little note about this i am not going to be showing you how to do this um, it's currently the m3 tools technically supports those cameras but I have found those tools to be too buggy on a lot of different applications to be really reliable, so I'm going to wait on the Blizzard Art tools for this one. But besides that, we can definitely do the peasant.mdx. That one's not too difficult. Well, it's the hardest one you're probably going to run into, but I can show you it's not really that hard. Anyways, so we're going to go current file, we're going to extract the mdx, and we're going to dump it in our uh, models folder here. and put it right in there. All right. Now we're going to go extract and convert used textures. This is very nice because it will convert them into TGAs for you. So, rather nice thing to have there. Now we don't want the guts. Um that's a f here's the thing. StarCraft 2 cannot support um transparent textures or at least the exporter can't. So if a texture has any transparency, it'll show up, um, a lot of them showed up as team colors. Actually, yeah, pretty much just team colors. StarCraft 2 views, views transparency and texture as team colors. It's really annoying, but that's what it does. So whatever happens, you cannot have transpar transparent textures. Otherwise, it's just going to team color it, or you can force it to be black, depending on whether or not uh, you actually enable team color for that particular texture. So we don't want the guts. I also don't want to keep the direct keep the directory structure and we're going to go put that in our folder as well. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Human, peasant, and okay. Now let's convert it to TGA, but we don't want TGA. We want DDS. The reason is DDS has far better compression and here's the thing with Warcraft 3 models. Oftentimes, you can use them without having to upload a separate .mod file. Sorry, that .se2 mod file. You can. It doesn't require. It doesn't take up that much space at all. Um, it's very nice to have it that way. So, anyways, we're going to convert this texture to DDS format. So, we don't need this anymore. We're going to close that, and we're going to open GIMP or Photoshop. Doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. For for um, transferring the icons, for porting the icons over, GIMP is definitely a nicer thing because it actually has a function 
that you can kind of fake in Photoshop, but I've never really gotten it to work. Granted, I really haven't tried that hard. So anyways, we're going to go down here to File, and we're going to Open, and we're going to go... So you don't want that one, I want... Models, Warcraft 3, Units, Human, Peasant, And we're going to open the peasant.tga. Now, a couple of things to show about this. Yes, it's not a terribly big texture. In fact, we could size it down if you want to, but there's kind of no point with it. Um, another thing here, go to channels. You'll see this alpha channel. Now, where it's black, that's where the team color is. This one uses alpha channel team color. Sometimes you can just use transparent team color. It just depends. StarCraft seems to do both. Well, I really haven't explored the transparent one. I just strictly use the black alpha channel on my models. So anyways, we're going to go back here and there's a channel. And we're just going to save this as a DDS format. Now you can get the DDS tools. You just Google them, NVIDIA DDS uh, tools or whatever. And you can download and install them for uh, Photoshop. It'll actually auto-install for you. For GIMP, there is an alternative script you can use. Um, that one you have to Google a little bit, but it's there, it's ready. I would use the uh, Google code thing one for that. So anyways, we're going to save this as a DDS file. Now, I prefer DXT3, ARGB, ABPP, ABP, blah, whatever, Explicit Alpha, and I've heard mixed views. You sometimes generate bitmaps, sometimes not. People say different things. I'm just going to use generate bitmaps for now. There may be a better option probably check the feedback on the thread for those advanced modelers who know more than I do. Which is to say, pretty easily. Alright, we saved it as a DDS file. Now we're just... Alrighty, and we are back. I apologize for that, guys. Um, was having some issues there, but fortunately I got them resolved. Now, the import-export tools, you can get them from se2mapster.com. Just get the latest one, I can get 2.1. Hopefully these ones aren't bugged sometimes. The maker uh, tends to cause some issues by fixing some other ones sometimes, so hopefully won't hopefully won't run into that. These tools also include the uh, .m2, well sorry, the MDX import script as well. So you can get that one giant batch just from these tools, which is really nice. Also you can import wild models of these tools and pretty much anything Blizzard related. I'm not sure about Diablo 3 though. Anyways. So we got those. Now, pretty much, to put to install them, you put the in the plugins folder for it. You put that in there, and for the scripts, uh, you can stick it here. But if you want them to run startup, just go to the startup folder and dump them in there, and that pretty much takes care of that. It'll load when the program loads. You can see I'm just doing uh, StarCraft II stuff with this. It's convenient for me. Sometimes it may not be for you. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, we're gonna go here. And we're going to use max script. We're going to go to MDX import exporter. And we're going to just leave these settings the way they are. And we're going to import MDX. And we're going to go, let's see here. Human peasant, peasant on MDX. All right. And it seems to be taking its own sweet time. Hey guys, I'm gonna pause this and wait for it to finish. Alright guys, we are back in. Apparently it did finish, although it didn't do the pop-up like I'm used to. May have just been doing it slightly wrong. Anyways, we're going to close that. Now, um, the first thing we've got to do is go through and delete unnecessary geometry and uh, bones. This here is a bone. So we're going to delete that because this is where the guts go on. And as I said, StarCraft 2 can't handle transparent textures. Unless you really want the real work of the animations of this thing, it's better off just using the StarCraft 2 blood splat like the Marine has. And delete that. Now we're also going to delete these extras here. This is the gold bag. 
The reason is, as I said, StarCraft II cannot handle transparent textures. You're going to have to use model attachments uh, in actors to make these go on the proper places, etc. Fortunately, they're already attached. Well, there should be attachment points. If not, there's bones for them. Well, we're going to delete the bones. But anyway, we don't need that, and we don't want that either, so those are out of the way. All right, and if you notice also there's an extra little pickaxe here. We need to see exactly which one the animations use. So we're going to go down here to M3 sequences. As you can see, these animations are fairly well done. There are some animation names we can't use, though. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to play the stand animation. That one seems to be fine. Let's try another stand animation. Still, that one. Okay. Attack gold. So it's still that one. Walk. Still that one. You see, we're going to do attack lumber. Still that one. All right. And let's try the death animation. Uh, uh. Um. Let's go back to stand. So it appears we don't need we don't want the transparent one. We can only have one of these, otherwise StarCraft 2 can't handle it. Okay. Now be careful when deleting these extra bones. I just prefer to leave them there because sometimes we delete a bone here, it'll screw up half the model and you don't want that. Okay, now that we got the uh, bones and such taken care of and looks like we've pretty much got all the attachment points. Um, see here, yeah, it's mission the solder attachment, so you're going to have to use a local offset for that. It won't be completely perfect, but it's a good idea with Warcraft 2 models and Starcraft 2 maps to make them extra small. The players, I've noticed when I asked about it in example maps, didn't really notice any real difference unless you asked them about it. So keyword keep mom's order anyways we're gonna put the textures on this guy now now this one here the reason why it's a separate object is this one's a team color texture so we're gonna go here to hit standard we're gonna make it a starcraft 2 material oh and by the way if you're gonna do this for a new you if you're doing this for the first time it's going to be um, a little bit different material editor from the one I'm doing here to do that um, let's see go Try it in a second. I think it's this one. Nope, that wasn't it. 